week four. The Pittsburgh Steelers are in Houston to take on the Texans, a team seemingly on the rise, but the Pittsburgh Steelers are on a two-game winning streak, looking to make it three, and you got to feel pretty confident. It feels like a Pittsburgh Steelers win. I'm in Pittsburgh right now, getting my morning steps in, and look at this. Look how foggy it is. It's a good spring morning right there. It feels like football weather. It feels like October 1st, baby. It is here. It is finally spooky season. And well, the Pittsburgh Steelers are about to be real spooky to the Texans today. Now, you could talk about the defense, and we've talked about that already, how TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith are about to have an absolute field day, how Kendrick Green and Austin DeCullis are about to start on the Texans offensive line. Look at this. I'm, like in a, I'm in a movie right now. This is awesome how the Houston Texans just don't have the manpower to keep up with the Pittsburgh Steelers edge rushers or really their defensive line as a whole. And C.J. Stroud, man, he might, he might need an apology letter from the Pittsburgh Steelers defense after this game. But I want to talk about the other side of the ball. I want to talk about Kenny Pickett. I want to talk about the Steelers offense. I want to talk about how this is about to be a day and should be a day. This is, in my opinion, a do or die to a degree, a step up day for Kenny Pickett and company. Hey, hey, look it, last week wasn't a fluke. This is real, you could start to trust us type of event for the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback and his wide receivers. And really Najee Harris and Jalen Warren and Pat Fryermuth and everybody else involved. This is a, we have an opportunity to have two really big games, lead our team to victory. We might as well do it. And then you head back home to take on the Baltimore Ravens. And really at that point, judgment isn't, a direct line when it comes to football if you play an afc north game you're always going to get played a little bit tougher it's always going to be a more challenging event but you're also going to play better most times because that's just how that competition goes the judgment level is not the same as the houston texans or the las vegas raiders and if kenny pickett could have two back-to-back -back really impressive days for the pittsburgh steelers I think you head to Baltimore and then you head into the, uh, the bye week feeling pretty good about where your quarterback sits and where this offense is headed. And that's a direction that, I mean, two weeks ago, we were sitting here even after a win against the Cleveland Browns talking about Kenny Pickett ain't it, man. Matt Canada's got to go. I don't know if the Pittsburgh Steelers have it in them to pull this off this year. And here we are with an opportunity for the Pittsburgh Steelers to be three and one back to back to back wins and headed back home to take on the Baltimore Ravens with an opportunity to gain a pretty significant lead in the AFC North heading into the bye week. That's exactly where you're looking to be if you're the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm walking up a hill right now. I don't know if you can tell by the way I'm breathing. Didn't, didn't, plan, didn't plan to be walking up this hill today. Anyways, I got all respect for Steven Nelson. I think the dude's a baller. Really enjoyed him when he was in Pittsburgh. Shaquille Griffin, another guy that... I think he's had somewhat of a bad rep in the NFL and when he was in Seattle. But for the most part, you're looking at two guys that the Pittsburgh Steelers can most certainly take advantage of. You're looking at two guys that Kenny Pickett and George Pickens and Calvin Austin and Allen Robinson and Pat Fryermuth can outmatch 100%. And it's just another opportunity to, to do so and to put yourself on the map and to gain the confidence of the fan base, but also gaining confidence with each other. That's where the Pittsburgh Steelers are headed at this point. It's about growing and adapting to a unit that moving forward, and when you get into these big games, and when you get into crunch time, and when you get closer to the playoffs, you are a group that is confident in each other. And I don't think the Pittsburgh Steelers offense, no matter how much they wanted to say it, were a group that was confident with each other two weeks ago. That knew in a dire situation, they could get the job done. That knew that if the game relied on them and they had to step up big for a quarter or two, they could get the job done. I think Vegas kind of sparked that. Houston's an opportunity to carry that. And then you come back home against the Baltimore Ravens with a chance to really put a stamp on it and say, hey, look, at this is real. We're here. Welcome to 2023. This is the Steelers offense. I think it shuts down a lot of questions. I think it removes a lot of nonsense talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback situation and their offensive coordinator situation because as of right now, no change is going to be made, and the Pittsburgh Steelers are very confident in Matt Canada, so you might as well just try to succeed with what you have. Prime opportunity for Kenny Pickett and company. I expect a big day. I expect this to be Kenny Pickett's breakout. Welcome to the NFL. 
possibly three touchdowns, a couple hundred yards passing, really solidify himself as a starter for the Pittsburgh Steelers and in this league and say, look, you guys, whatever, man. Took me a minute. I get it. I was slow. I was rattled. It happens. I'm back. We're here. I fully expect that. That's my anticipation for this week. I expect a blowout win for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I hope it stays foggy all day because, I don't know, I can't think of a better way to watch football than look out your window and see and see this. I don't know if you could even tell how how foggy and gloomy it is down there, but man, what a week. We got a little cat friend walking by here. It's good morning, guys. Good morning here in the Berg. Good morning for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I hope Houston's the same way. Again, I anticipate a big win. Cat, you anticipate a big win? I feel you.